Aaron style. Yeah. Hi again. Inside we've got Andrew Hormont, the creator of the Aaron style since 1994, I believe. Um, hey, let's. I, I'm looking forward to asking him some in-depth questions about why the Aaron style left and came back, and all the info that we can. Let's check out what's new with Aaron style and find out more. Hello, here we have Andrew Horman, the man behind Aaron Style. I'd like to ask him a couple questions. Andrew, thanks for taking the time to uh, talk with us. I uh, believe um, the Aaron Style is an amazing thing uh, that are making a lot of people uh, happy in Innsbruck now that it's back. Can you tell us a bit about the history when it started? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, we started off planning this event in '93. Um, did it the first one in um, January '94. It just all started off um, here in Innsbruck. You know, with the, the, the whole snowboard um, community. We we just you know, I was a snowboard photographer at the time. I wasn't uh, an event organizer. I, okay. I, I worked for for Burton and you know Quicksilver okay. and all those companies. And I was traveling all over the world with um, with all the the riders. And we just had an idea. Let's do a little um, a little snowboard event in Innsbruck. And um, Politicians didn't want us down in town. We wanted to do it in the center of town, so um, we had to come up here, and um, it just developed into something a little bit bigger than we expected. We were, we thought that we were going to have like 500 people coming. Had um, one guy at the door just to, to sell tickets, and we had like 5,000 people turning up on the first evening, and like didn't know what the hell was going on. So it was like. Um, yeah, all total natural development. I think that's what the difference between Aaron Style is and other events. This this thing just happened. It wasn't planned, um, and it, it developed out of a community, um, and a, that's why it's got so much positive energy. last three years we've been in Munich, um, we've been doing really well there and um, I guess it's always one of those things when you're successful in a foreign country they like like to have you back home again so um, we got the opportunity to come back and um, yeah here we are back in Innsbruck. The guys that live here, I mean all of the people that come to our event they're all snowboarders, they all know what you're doing, they know how difficult it is what you're doing, so they really respect um, what you guys show us. Um, that's, that's also part of it, that we have, you know, Innsbruck is the snowboarding capital of Europe, um, which we like to call it, and we've just got the best fans here, and it shows the support they gave us coming back first time, stadium sold out, and um, they'll make sure that it's going to be a real good atmosphere. What sticks out in your mind for the Aaron style? Well, for one, you did a uh, um, world record jump you did in Seyfeld. That wasn't bad. You know, you're the first guy to stick the, was it, the 12... 12 um, 1260. 1260. Uh, so that was obviously um, a very nice experience seeing you do that. Um, also, obviously, Stefan Gimple doing the, the hat trick three in a row. Um, I guess no one's going to do that too quick. Sean White had a go, but he only made two. Um, Ingemar Bachmann made two. Um, and I, I like to think back of um, Jim Rippy and his old Rippy flip, and his attitude was like, either I'm going to land this most difficult trick that there is, or I'm going to knock myself out. You know, that's the way he was riding. And, you know, right at the beginning, guys like Sean Palmer and Terry Hackinson riding here, those were all, you know, amazing experiences seeing all of you guys um, do this stuff. So that's, uh, yeah, that was very cool. How do you feel? How do you see the the old style of snowboarding compared to the new style of snowboarding? Do you see any? Uh, do you feel any differences? Yeah, I mean, snowboarding's just um, developed. It's become a lot more technical. Um, you know, you you were very very involved in that yourself. Um, but um, they're getting the style back into it now, and we're we're making sure that um, we we keep plenty of style because um, it's called Aaron style. Obviously, we're looking at spectacular big jumps, but we're not going to let it get out of control and make sure that we keep keep the style, you know, on a very important level here. So, I think the development's been very, very positive.
there's like Kevin Kevin Pierce who's obviously um, uh, a strong contender these days. Yeah, he's looking really good, and um, you know that that'd be another classic, wouldn't it? Him winning Munich and um, coming back and winning winning Innsbruck in the same year. That's that's a nice story if you ask me, but we'll see. Well, now you've got a few more facts. That's it for us. Let's check out the event. Yeah. The Aaron style. Yeah. <laughs>